What's up Hoopers, this is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And in today's video, we are gonna go over how to use your dribble as a shooter to create an open shot. Let's get started. All right, Hoopers, like I said, we're gonna go over how to use your dribble to create an open shot. And we're gonna go over a couple of moves in today's video to help you with just that. But before we start, there's a link that's in the description. If you click it, you will get a free workout today from Think Pro Basketball. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. All right, so let's dive in to the first move in today's video. We're gonna work on the step back. A step back is a great move to help you create space in order to get your shot off. So I'm gonna work from this right wing and I'm going to attack towards the middle, right? So I've got my defender on my hip. Maybe I'll give him a jab step to set him up so I can attack the defender and get towards the middle of the paint. So as I'm attacking here, I'm driving, I'm driving. Now I'm gonna use that inside foot. So the one closest to the basket, which is gonna be that right foot, and I'm gonna plant that foot Boom, and step back to create space using my dribble and that step back to get off my shot. All right, the step back is a lethal move to use in order to create that space and separation to help you get open to get your jumper off. All right, so again, we're gonna just start out on the wing. Boom, we're gonna jab them off, free ourselves or just to give us that split second we need to create a small advantage, not a huge one, but as we attack, we're getting downhill. Boom, plant off that inside foot, create the space that you need to get your shot. All right, so this is the first move, the step back. Get that space you need and knock down the jumper. Check it out in full speed. All right, Hoopers, this next move we're gonna be working on a behind the back off of the dribble to create space for your jump shot. All right, and this one, I'm just gonna start at the top of the key. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attack to my right or left hand, which one you're, whichever one you're comfortable with. And now as I attack here, I'm going, I'm driving, I'm going to stop on a dime. So whatever hand the ball's in, that same foot is gonna be the one that's the lead foot. So I'm driving with the ball on my right, so that right foot's gonna stop and plant. I'm gonna push behind the back, boom right into my jump shot. Okay, so we're really selling that drive. So we're attacking, boom, we stop, and we're right into our shot, okay? So even though your right foot is going forward, all that pressure's on that back foot because you're gonna go back into it, boom, to get your jump. All right, so we wanna go here at the top, boom, sell that drive, sell that drive, stop on a dime, behind the back, pull up J. All right, check it out in full speed. All right, Hoopers, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the two moves that you've seen in today's video. If you did, give it a like, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Again, don't forget about that link that's in the description so you can get your free workout today. After you do all that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball. We're providing you with professional level training that's easy to follow, that's going to deliver in-game results. Now make sure you get out there, hit the gym, hit the court. If you got beautiful weather like we do in Southern California, make sure that you get outside and put the work in as well. And until I see you again next time, remember to always keep hooping.